All right, it is time now for the tropical update and our hurricane specialist Michael Lowry is standing by in the Global Forecast Center with the latest on newly formed Tropical Storm Dorian, Michael. Hi there, Vivian, that's right. And this time of year, you know, anytime you get a system in the Atlantic, really deserves our attention. Even though we're still talking about a few thousand miles east of the United States, right now just coming off the coast of Africa, several hundred miles southwest of the Cape Verde Islands off here off the coast of Africa. As of 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, uh, located about 400 miles west southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, winds of 50 miles per hour, and it was moving off toward the west northwest pretty quickly at about 21 miles per hour. I want to show you our visible satellite picture. There are a few interesting features to notice about Dorian. First of all, the circulation itself, very tiny. It's right down here, only about 100 miles across or 100 miles wide. But if you zoom in, the actual spin to it, the low level spin, is really vigorous. And that's always been the case with this. Uh, and a very impressive circulation, especially for late July. Not many systems form this far east in the Atlantic this early in the season. But you'll notice up here to the north, we talked yesterday about some of this stable air. The stratocumulus clouds indicate the presence of some dry, stable air to the north of it, but so far Dorian has been able to protect itself, so we do expect some continued development of this over the next day or two. Now taking a look at our uh, enhanced satellite picture. This gives us an indication of where the strongest storms are. So you're looking for the reds and the oranges. And right now you'll notice over the center, not a lot of that, just a lot of the uh, yellow colors and the blue colors indicating that the thunderstorms that are developing over the center really aren't that intense. And there are a number of reasons for that. One of those are the cooler ocean waters that we talked about yesterday. So here we're talking about ocean waters in the 70s that it's moving over right now, still in the upper 70s, so plenty warm enough to continue development, but once it gets past the central Atlantic, the water, ocean water should start to heat up a little bit, but the overall upper level conditions in the near term look favorable for some continued slow development. Here is the track of the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Takes it off toward the west northwest. So tomorrow they are forecasting it to intensify to a 60 mile per hour tropical storm. And then after that, the upper level conditions become a little bit more favorable, even though the ocean waters are heating up. So it should level off as it nears the islands toward the end toward the latter part of the weekend. Let's talk about what lies ahead here, though. If we look at our water vapor picture, this shows us the amount of water content in the mid in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You notice this big slug of brown uh, and orange colors here to the west. This is very dry air. Right now though, because Dorian is so small, it's really protected itself from this. But as it moves off toward the west, it's gonna bump up against this upper level low and some of, the, some of that dry air may begin to work its way into the system in the Central Atlantic. But we have plenty of time to watch this over the next few days. Kyla? Uh -huh.